Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to uh, take a look at an option on your Ford, um, whether it's a, any truck really, or even SUV. As long as they have this center infotainment uh, screen, LCD screen, it should look similar to this. Uh, now I'm in a 2014 F-250, uh, the 2017 and to 2019 have a little bit different look to it. So those of you guys that have that will have to look a little bit different. But uh, for those of you who with the 2000, I believe 2009 uh, F-150, maybe even the 2010s when they started it, they have this center uh, stack on your uh, display. Uh, for those of you guys with an XL model, you may not have this look as well, or even the XLT. But I know this is a Lariat, uh, and then... I know some XLTs have it, and possibly even some XLs have it. It was like a uh, add-on or optional feature. So, anywho, uh, so I wanted to show you. I'm hooked up to my. Uh, I have a 2015 Starcraft travel trailer, and I uh, wanted to show you something pretty cool about uh, when hooking up a trailer. Now, I don't know what makes you know uh, the trailer uh, a smart trailer. Or what makes this truck uh, know that it's there? I'm guessing some sort of um, braking system because it has a brake is what makes it know that it has a uh, trailer on there. Because my utility trailer, my little triple crown utility trailer I use for my lawn care, it doesn't have this. So it's strictly um, my uh, uh, trailer for my uh, travel trailer. So not sure why what the difference is. So anywho. So here is your, um, what, the, what the screen normally looks like. You've got different options here. Uh, so if you go down to truck apps, and then the first one will be off-road uh, settings. And then um, your next one will be, when your trailer's hooked up, it will pop up here. Now, <clears throat> um, unfortunately the trailer is a little bit off. The miles are off because I first brought it home with my F-150. Uh, and it was probably about 40 miles or so. So this is off by about 40 miles. So it actually tells you uh, how many miles is on your trailer. That's really cool. I really like that feature. So then if you hit OK for more options, this is where you can change your active trailers uh, and then your connection list. You can delete it. Information screen. Um, you go here and actually will go through, tell you what the tow haul mode is for. Um, basically, it modifies the uh, shift points of your transmission, which allows the engine to, um, you know, for power bands and stuff. And then it also uh, locks you up your uh, torque, tur uh, tur tur excuse me, wow, converter, uh, more frequently to improve uh, transmission cooling. Um, you guys all know about that. So, pretty cool. If you didn't, <clears throat> this is where it tells you. Um, and then basically your brake controller will tell you what it does here. Um, I keep this trailer is pretty heavy. Uh, even with this F-250, I do keep it at um, right about 10. Um, and um, it works optimally. So it's a heavy trailer. You know, it's, it's definitely heavy. Uh, no doubt about it. So that's your uh, information screen. Let's keep on going here. You can rename your trailer. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. You can reset the mileage on your trailer, uh, and so forth, so forth. What's pretty cool is the connection checklist. Now, you have different ones here. Uh, conventional, which would be your uh, bumper pull. And then, you obviously, you guys own a fifth wheel, and then your boost neck connections. So, we're going to do conventional. Basically, hey, dummy, did you uh, back your truck up and uh, uh, couple your trailer to your hitch? Okay, yep, I've done that. <clears throat> hey, dummy, did you raise up your uh, tongue jack? Uh, yep, I've done that. It's uh, it's definitely squatting. So, and then uh, did you uh, adjust your mirrors out to the towing feature? Yep, done that. And then, obviously, I have to do that in order for my battery to work. I think my battery is just a little weak. But in here, yep, it's connected. So, hit OK. And then, uh, this is where I wish, uh, Ford, hey, take note of this, Ford. I wish, if, if you had this feature, why not show me on your, on this screen, 
when I turned and hit the taillights and left and turned and brake, uh, I've seen a school bus feature. Many of you guys might saw this as a kid, and, and I was always looking at this type of stuff. I was always attached to lights. And on a school bus as a kid, I noticed that, like I, I point to it, um, anytime the brake lights would come on, on the side of the school bus, up on the, over the bus driver's head, you can actually see the lights come on. Uh, when the, uh, the yellow lights would come on, at the top of the bus school bus, the lights would flash at the top of it, showing yellow lights were flashing. And then when the reds would activate, the reds would activate on over the bus driver's head. So, Ford, I wish you guys would integrate that uh, feature into this screen right here, right here, where I can hit my left turn. As you guys can see, I've hit my left turn. The left turn on, the, on my little trailer here should be blinking. And that would tell me, hey, it's working. And hit the right turn signal. Hey, you know. Uh, and then hit the brake and so forth so forth so Ford take note of that if you can get that technology into your uh, truck and it may be in the newer trucks I don't know but uh, I think that'd be really cool to to have it live where it tells you and if you have an issue show on here hey you know one of your lights isn't working it wouldn't illuminate so uh, anywho uh, don't know somebody has to be back there to tell me uh, again Ford take note of that Ford engineers uh, if you can build that into your uh, new trucks that'd be awesome and then your tbc game going back to what i said uh, i do have mine up to 10 i don't know if this um adjusts right here yep it does there let's see if it did it okay it does it there too okay so it does tell you your tbc game like i said i always keep mines at 10 with this particular trailer just because it is uh very heavy it is a 10 000 pound trailer um but for whatever reason, I do have to keep it up at 10. Uh, I have driven uh, flatbed uh, equipment trailers with double axles. And having it at 10, you barely tap the brakes and it locks it up. <clears throat> this trailer doesn't do that. So, all right. It's removed. Yep, shocks are removed. Uh, safety chains are connected. And that's it. So, that's pretty cool. So, um, let's go through fifth wheels. I don't have one, so I don't know... Um, you know, obviously, there's I know of it, but I don't have it. Uh, so, kind of the same stuff. Just mirrors, keeping loose handle locked, brake lights. There you go. So, and then your gooseneck. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, many guys may not know that this happens, and many of you guys may be like me, or hey, I have a trailer, but it doesn't ever does this. It never does this on my truck. Well, again, I'm not sure why. I can only assume it's because it has trailer brakes that it does this. Um, but again, my utility trailer does not. Leave in the comments below uh, if you guys know why some trailers this works for and others don't. Again, I think I know the answer just because there's no trailer brakes or something for it to. Uh, make it smart so hope you guys like this video subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one